All right, Rick, we're aboard the Harris Crown 260, and they've named it right because this is the crown jewel of pontoon boats. <laughs> Dave, it is. It's funny. You know, everything in a boat, we've been through it on every episode, is a compromise. But sometimes the compromise has to involve the entire family. And sometimes the compromise has to involve being able to do a whole lot of things. There's an awful lot of things you can do from a pontoon boat that people don't think about. Well, I'm looking at this boat and maybe there's no compromise on this boat because we've got a front deck where we can fish. We've got plenty of seating to bring the family and part of the neighborhood. You've got a little rear deck I could easily see diving off of. This would be a mini season machine. Dude, it'd be a spec machine. Think about loading up your family and floating across Lake Harris. Okay, catching specs, listening to the football game. I mean, just relaxing, your wife's alongside. It, I mean, it works. If you think about it, for the things that you can do in a pontoon boat, this really, really works. Well, long gone are the days of the pokey old pontoon boat with the little 40 horse motor and putting across the lake. This boat has twin 300s, <laughs> it flies. You've got joystick control for docking, because a boat this size in the wind may be a little bit of a handful to a novice, but with the joystick, you can pull up, do it sideways, bring it right into the dock, right out of the dock. They've made operating this boat very, very simple. I didn't understand uh, the pontoon boat craze until I got on a lake recently and I, we were doing some TV shooting. I had to spend some time. Every single boathouse on the lake had a pontoon boat. Well, Harris has actually stepped it up because they call this one a saltwater addition. So they've done some things to protect it from the environment. So you can use this boat in a saltwater environment. Dave, you know, we've called this thing a pontoon boat, just the name that you always think of these. It's actually a tritoon. Well, yeah, you're right. It does have another pontoon that runs right down the center of the boat. And that's going to give us more displacement so we can support more weight. Displacement, okay. I'm a fisherman. I don't know what a pontoon boat displaces. What does that mean? Well, all boats, they float by displacement. And it's a real simple thing. For every pound of water you displace, you can support a pound of weight. So if you take the volume of water, you weigh it, you displace that much weight, you can support that much weight. This boat could carry 10, maybe 15 people, plus dive gear. You've got twin 300s. Dave, you got 600 horsepower hanging back there. Right. This isn't a 30 horsepower your dad's pontoon boat. No, no, no. This boat can get very heavy if you load it up with all the people. So you've got to have that extra pontoon to keep it floating high in the water. All right, Rick, I know you come from the world of sport fish. You're looking for a tower and a fly bridge. <laughs> You're not going to find it on this boat. <laughs> but you do have a little front deck out here. You and I could easily stand out here and fish. And if we have kids aboard, you've got a nice gate here that locks. So we can stay out there, but yet you're still going to keep your kids confined back here and safe. Dave, I'm telling you, I have stood on polling platforms that weren't this high. This part of it I would thoroughly enjoy. You could fish off of this thing easily. Another thing I like, too, with the stability of a pontoon boat, it's just that. Very, very stable. So as people are moving and walking around the boat, you're not going to get that movement from side to side. And you can, as we work our way back, everywhere you look, you've got couches, you've got seating, you've got lounges. This is a very, very comfortable boat. I have no question whether it's comfortable or not. Is it utilitarian enough to count as a fishing boat? That's what interests me, and i got to tell you, there's things on it I like. Well, you've got the cup holders, you've got built-in high-intensity headlights, you've got all the cushy stuff, but if you really look past that, with the front and rear decks, with the insulated wells and stuff, you could easily fish or dive off of this boat. Rick, over here on the port side, you've got a nice side door. If you're swimming or diving, this makes entry and egress a lot easier, but if I'm pulled up to a dock, especially for older people or younger kids, this is so much easier to get on off the it boat. It sure makes getting on and off easier, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, Dave, I'm starting to warm to this whole concept. This is pretty doggone comfortable sitting here. This is a gentleman style boat right here. It really is. And if you look at the way you're sitting, you know, the ergonomics of this, it looks like you're in an SUV or a big motorhome. You've got that same profile. You've got that same feel to it. You're absolutely right. Well, when you look at the dash, all your controls are there. You've got tilt steering. Your stereo controls are here. You don't even have a key to start this boat. You have to put in a special code. That's going to keep it safe if you leave it in the marina overnight. Well, you're absolutely right. It's also at it, it, ease of operation. You don't have to worry about your kids taking it out on Sunday afternoon when you don't want them to. You just don't have to give them the code. Rick, and one more thing before we leave the helm area. I've already pulled the safety pin. There's a little button right there called Power Top. If you're going to trailer this boat, which really can be pulled behind a half-ton pickup truck, you can lower this top hydraulically to stop all the windage. No, I, I tell you what, they've thought of an awful lot. They started this thing. I don't think they used a blueprint for anything to build this boat. I think this boat was built 
as a totally new concept. Rick, to round out the Harris, they've got a really nice small deck on the back. Ooh. You've got a flip down ladder. You can fish from back here, but more importantly, on the top of the radar arch, you have a tow bit for pulling water toys. So getting on and off the boat with the ladder, this is whether you're swimming, whether you're diving, whether you're pulling somebody on the tube, makes it so much easier getting in and out of the boat. You know, Dave, coming from hardcore fishing boats, I really didn't know what to expect with this episode and this boat, but I can tell you this boat defines comfort. It is luxurious from bow to stern. It's an awfully nice way to relax. I gotta hand it to them. If you're looking for a boat to be comfortable in, this might be the best boat for you.